हेलो हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो बेसिकली इस वीडियो में प्रॉब्लम सिमिलर स्ट्रिंग ग्रुप्स सो फर्स्टली हाउ हैज बीन योर डे माय डे स्टार्टेड प्रिटी बैड आज सुना था ओपन लीड कोड आई फिगर आउट दैट माय अकाउंट हैज बीन ब्लॉक आई कैंट अफोर्ड कमेंट पोस्ट एनी सोल्यूशन ऑन लीड कोड सो या दैट वॉज लवली थिंग देन आई सेट नो वरीज लेट्स मेक द वीडियो आई wrote the solution started making a video figured out after recording the whole video my mic cell was dead it was half a time picking up the voice and half a time not so yeah uh, the day didn't start well but yeah no worries let's start with the problem itself uh, the problem says that we are having two strings x sorry two strings x and y they are said to be similar the word is similar if we can swap two letters in some different positions of x so that it becomes y which means if we have this string as t a r s t a r s if i just swap t and r then i will get r a t s right so these two strings t r s and r a t s are called as similar strings cool also if two strings are equal which means t a r s and t a r s they are also similar so basically the condition of being similar is that after replacing exactly two locations different locations i get the string y or basically x and y are already same cool uh, for example the given the same example as we showed above now together these form two connected groups so basically what we can say is okay that R T A R S is similar to R A T S, right? Because we can swap R and T and get R A T S. While R A T S and A R T S is also similar. How? By swapping A and R. So we can say, okay, T A R S is similar to R A T S. R A T S is similar to A R T S. Thus, all these are similar. Which means, if it is one node, it is next node. It is next node. T A R S, R A T S, A R T S. it is similar it is similar so it also says that okay whatever comes in one group are similar as you can see together these form two connected groups by similarity first connected group is these three and the one which remaining is star which is not similar to any of these three so it forms two connected groups so the word itself says connected groups right so you can just figure out from here only okay what's it trying to say but no worries uh, we go more notice that tars and arts are in similar group even though they are not similar right so group can be attached with multiple edges this and this are not like similar but still they are in a similar group cool um now normally uh, formally each group is such a uh, that a word in is in the group if and only if it's similar to at least one of the words in the group so basically it just say okay a word is in the group if it is similar to one of the words in the group which means if you just place an edge or something like this the, a connection between two similar words two similar words then okay this whole group will be called as a similar group now we have to list uh, okay what we have to find out is that how many groups are there which means that similar groups as in the above we saw there are two groups so we have to find how many groups are there so basically as you itself saw okay we have to build a connection because it's a connected group so we will build the connection between every of those similar strings then what will happen is if two nodes are similar we will just connect them and ultimately what we saw these two are same similar oh, we had a connection these two are similar we had a connection ultimately we can just say okay it is one group it is one group so you can see what is looking like it's looking like a graph in which it is one connected component it is another connected component so we just have to build this graph and find the number of connected components how as we go on to one node of this string which means i'll just stand at t a r s 
I'll just go and find okay what all neighbors because see for a graph you need a node and a neighbor right for this node uh, right here you know okay it is a node I am starting at but what is his neighbor neighbor is any of the nodes which are similar to the string right here right and how to find the similarity we know two strings x and y or a and b are similar if they have exactly two characters different which means add suppose i have t a r s t a r s and uh, um, which one was uh, r a t s so you can see t a t r and r t only these two are different else everyone is same that's okay i can see easily it is similar or if t a r s or t a r s then also it is similar so i'll just know okay it is my node it is my neighbors and same for this node i know it is my node it is my node it is my neighbor and thus i can just at every node i know okay all these are its neighbors i'll just go on the neighbors i'll just know okay it is the node right now and all these are its neighbors i'll just keep on going on the neighbors of every node and just try to visit that entire connected component and mark it as visited and one connected component if you have not we watched our bab graph series we have entirely gone on to okay what's a connected component uh it's just write bab graph series by aryan uh, on youtube or on google you will just find it and in that from the starting th third or fourth lecture itself we have told okay what's what's a connected component how to build that how the graph traverses bfs dfs actually work on those components and all that stuff so yeah by this you can just find okay it is one connected component which means i'll just iterate on this whole graph via any algorithm bfs or dfs then i can just go okay one connected component is done but still the node is remaining so it is the next connected component and thus you can see the answer is two here you can see um it's o m v and o v m these two are different which means both are in a similar group so it is one connected component the answer is one uh so it is n it is m which means number of strings and length of each string it can be m so we just know okay we will find the number of connected components for finding the number of connected components we have union find and we can just do a simple graph traversal whatsoever is not visited we will just visit it and do a traversal in that component right to find okay i just visit that node so one component but to complete that component and you travel the complete component entirely so i'll just do a bfs or a dfs and as i've previously also told whenever we can do both we should try to do a depth first search because it's much shorter to write and also faster to write now it is exactly what we have to do we will start from every node just do a traversal how to traverse how to know the neighbors neighbors are nothing but the nodes that are similar to my root node let's see the code pretty quickly it's pretty easy firstly i have this variable known as groups uh, which will actually let me know okay what are the number of connected components in this whole graph visited to actually visit every node exactly once I'll just go on to every node because i need to tra start the dfs traversal from every node if for sure the node is already visited which means the node has already been in one of the credit component i need to skip that if not which means i need to start from that node and do a complete dfs traversal start from that node which means one component has been increased by this node and now i have to start the complete depth first search traversal which means i'll just try to go on firstly a standard dfs traversal is nothing but we mark as true we go on to all the neighbors provided the neighbor is not visited i will just visit that neighbor and do a dfs traversal how to know which node is a neighbor the node which is a neighbor is node which is a j node which means string i i is my root node j is my neighbor j is a neighbor of i provided that a string i and string j are similar so i just check that similarity here that i'll just go on and see okay if the difference between the string a and string b is at only two places which means i have just re like replaced those places or if the replacement is zero which means both the strings are same at both these conditions i am good to say it is similar if it is similar which means uh if it is similar so 
I has a neighbor J and I just need to do a DFS traversal on J. That's it. That's pretty much it to find the connected component. Um, just look at the complexity pretty quickly. Uh, as you start from a node and do a DFS traversal completely and you do it for every node as you go on. So it is O of N square and as you find, as you know, okay, you are starting from a node, you are going on to every of those neighbors because a node, it can have those N neighbors, N minus one neighbors, right? So you're just going on to every of those neighbors for the one node, right? You go into every of those N minus one, N minus one neighbors and same you can do for every node. But to actually check, okay, it's a connection right here. We have to also make sure that node 1 and node 2 are similar, which means string i and string j are similar. To check the similarity, we have to iterate on the entire string. Thus, entire string length is of size m. Thus, we have that m component. So, it's O of n squared into m. Space complexity is nothing but O of n into m. O of n for that visited array because we choose to have this visited array of size n, which is the number of strings. So, I just keep the indexes rather than the string itself and o of n into m for nothing but my n string can go into a recursive stack at once and each string is of size m thus the space taken for the recursive stack will be o of n into m that's pretty much it the c plus plus java and exact python code are down below i hope that you guys enjoyed it it was a pretty easy to medium question i should say like um hard is for sure not hard like not hard at all it's easy to medium or medium i should say easy i should not say because it's a graph problem so yeah you can have it as medium so i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do the like button and please let me know the solution of how i should post on lead code for now i just posted made an alt made an alternate account post a solution but still it's very 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 weird to post a solution from your alt account all that stuff but yeah that's all pretty much it see you in another day goodbye take care